Um, so something like this is so simple, so effective, and literally can be shot while um, yeah, while you guys are busy gearing up for main production. The next example is a little bit on what it still can look like, and we can play it. So Gangs of Lagos is a very, very beautiful story, beautifully written and beautifully shot. It's centered around the friendship of three characters, Ifi, Yift, and Obalola. And you see the journey that they go on. There's a lot of love in this. There's a lot of loyalty. Um, we see a lot of fight scenes that I'm really, really, really excited about. Because like I told you, gift is about us. And I particularly love the story because it's telling a story about friendship, about love, but in a very unconventional way. But I also love that strong female characters are explored in the film. I think that's very, very important. Um, and I get the opportunity to play a character that's nothing like me in the sense that we obviously don't have the same background, but I love her strength, I love her courage, I love how assertive she is. Um, in a world where women are told to be quiet, she's very outspoken, says exactly how she feels. And I love that um, for women, you know. I'm really excited for people to see a very, very strong uh, female character, but I'm also expect, excited for people to see how beautifully explored, uh, like their friendship, the friendship of the three characters are. Um, it's very raw, it's very gritty, but it's also very honest, and, and, I, and I, I really, really, really like that. And I love the fact that we explore a friendship that starts from when we were younger to when we grew up. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's very, very useful. I'm trying not to give too much of the movie away because I want you to experience it because it is an experience. So yeah, please, please watch Gangs of Lucas blown away. All right. So great idea of still because this really teases the film without giving away too much, but giving a little bit more than what a uh, like a classic trailer would. And did you guys, by the way, maybe sideline content, but did you realize how that uh, the video ended? So oh, I'm so excited for you guys to watch this film. That that is great from an ending perspective and a call to action. It's a soft call to action and will drive people to the right place. And then last but not least, just to play you an example for what Inspire could look like. What's your favorite line to buy your character? Hey, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not doing pretty stuff, I'm not going to Is this the model? Is that the model? If you just, if you could describe the movie as food, what would it be? Maybe I'm not Maybe I'll even do with stew. The oil will just be on top. You know those abogi, those ones that start straight. That one. And then you have the chucky that's flat like that. Who would you say was the most dramatic character? I'd say he did this one. Or should I do that one? I liked all of that. So what, <laughs> what that one thing the character did that you will never be caught doing in real life? They'll be fighting and instigating children against themselves. I'll be caught doing that ever. I'm a joiner, I'm a peacemaker, so nothing is wrong. Right, and what, what we love about this example is that so after the release of your primary piece of content, so your film, it's an opportunity for you to explore what more can you do with your actors and your characters, right? So here, even though the questions were absolutely related and rooted uh, to, to kind of the main, the main story, it's okay to kind of branch out and, and yeah, get to know kind of the other side of your actor's personality. All right, for now, that is me. And I would like to invite up onto stage my colleague Marisa, who's going to unpack a little bit more on creative strategy.
Thank you so much, Alex. So today I'm going to be talking to you all a little bit about a secret content formula that you can apply when creating content. This is something that's very special to me because it's part of my day-to-day -day job and I help creators really craft the best content strategies. So, introducing the APSCCT, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I, hope I, I wish I could come up with a better acronym. It's complicated, it's long, but I promise you it's gonna pay off. Well. So, introducing the first one, F for film. So many times I get asked the question, I don't know when to film, I don't know when it's the best time to post, how do I do this, do I batch film my content, do I just whip up my mobile phone and go with what's on my mind? And the answer is, don't make it complicated. All you need is your phone. And all you need is a good time to plan and structure what you're going to be filmed and when you're going to be filming. But most importantly, when you're filming, I want to show you what the difference is between two scenarios. So, this is the first scenario. I'm going to play it out for you. Imagine I walked on the stage and I introduced myself like this. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, I need you. You're going to be like, move on. We want the next speaker. We don't, we're, not, we're not getting what we want from you. Whereas, if I walked on and I spoke like this, Hi everybody, I'm Relisa, I'm a digital content manager, and I'm going to be speaking to you about X, Y, and Z. Can you tell what the difference is? In the latter, the likelihood of you trusting me and trusting what I'm about to unpack for you is higher. So keep that in mind when you're filming your content. You are the expert in your field, you are the expert in your niche, you are the creative, and you are telling the story. Tone and how you film it is so important. And touching on to what Alex just spoke about, the four Vs are core for when you're filming your content. The next one is editing. Now, this is a common mistake that a lot of creatives make, but keep in mind, you want to edit the dead space out of your content. So all the ums, buts, likes, um, awkward pauses like this, Edit it out. You're not going to catch attention, your viewers are going to lose interest, and they're going to scroll on. Also keep in mind, when editing, you want to edit out un, uh, dead space in your content in terms of visual content. So if, a, if basically the person and the, the, the subject of the content has to always be in the center to catch attention more quickly. The last, this, the, the first S is SEO. Now this is tricky, but this is the most important one, I believe. So using keywords in your content is key. Whatever topic you're speaking about, make sure you're speaking about the content in your actual video. So today I'm speaking about content. Take note of how many times I actually say the word content. Additionally, when you're editing your video, make sure you're using auto-generated closed captions. Now that's important for the algorithm to, to recognize what this video is actually about and what's going on. Additionally, in your titles and descriptions, make sure your keywords are present there. The algorithm is going to pick it up, it's going to know what your video is about, and it's going to feed it to the right audience. And last but not least, also include this in your thumbnails, specifically for YouTube. Key keywords you want to be, want, has to be present there. Now cadence. Cadence is how often you show up on the platform. It's basically your cue to let your audience know when they can expect content from you. If you make a suggestion or if you announce to your audience, hey guys, I'm going to be showing up every Monday at 9 a.m., stick to that. They're going to trust you, they're going to trust that they can expect something from you to so make sure you're coming, you're showing up for them. Now, 70% of this formula is actually content, so what you're creating, but 30% is actually dependent on the platform. So, the second S, stay on the platform. You're not going to put in all this hard work of filming and editing and using the right captions and producing your high quality content and then just post and leave. No, 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 we're not doing that. 
We're going to stay on the platform for at least 15 to 20 minutes after posting. And when you stay on the platform, 